what's going on fontaine here vip soundlab.com just wanted to show you guys how you can set up an effects chain right quick as you can see right here i have some drum kits that i have uh scanned into my library here and if you're like me a lot of times this is one way i do import my libraries but a lot of times i do use my file tabs also because it's basically the same thing and it puts it in alphabetical order anyway and uh you know i can see a lot of kits at a quick glance and you know, I can go in here and just grab some sounds and things of that nature. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at getting some effects chain set up. So you see right here, I have a drum kit loaded up. I got some sounds and let me just zoom in on that a little bit. I'm working from the software right now. A lot of times I do like uh, one thing I do like about machine is that if, if I don't have my hardware controller hooked up, I think it's nice that I don't have to be, you know, confined to a dongle and have to have my hardware controller set up. I can, you know, as you can see right here, a session I was doing with my machine studio. Now I have the freedom to unplug that and, you know, I might just be on my laptop. You know, as I'm, you know, right now, I'm just at a friend of mine's house right now. And, you know, I like the way I can have that, that workflow with the machine studio. All right. So anyway, pattern links can be set here. You know, you can, you can double click here and say, if I wanted to make this a two bar loop, I can do that. You know, just want to make you aware of that in case somebody's not familiar with that. And you can also um, quantize your input when you're recording. So icon right here, your grid. And also you can turn your grid off here if you want to do any nudging. You know, you also can set up your quantization here. And again, you have these little quick tools here, such as the selection tool, the deletion tool, as well as the paint icon. You know, I'm not sure if you know this, but you know, actually in this grid here, you actually can right click and there's a little menu here where it's actually uh, these guys right here. You can cut, copy and paste from here. And you also have a nudge grid here, okay? In case somebody's not familiar with that. Also, you can set your bars up here also if you want to type in a certain, uh, for example, let's say if I was working on a part of the track where I needed to be over in the fourth bar, I can put the timeline like so. I'm not sure if you really noticed that, but if you look really close, this right here is the timeline because if I put it at three, you see how it goes right here to three and I can start the song from right there. Should have hit the play button. You know, you also have that retrigger uh, feature here. I did a video on that if you want to see how that works. And, you know, if you want to sync up your scenes in a certain way and have them play in a certain way, whether it's quantized or, you know, if you're retriggering scenes and you want them to loop and start from the beginning of the scene, you can get all that set up right there. All right, so effects change. Let's say if you want to manipulate um, or rather add some effects, I should say, to certain sounds inside your, your track. I think I did a video on this on the 1.8 also. You can take a look at that. And, you know, a lot of times you might want to set up a drum bus or a sidechain bus or, you know, you might want to set up reverb on certain um, hi-hats or snares or kicks. So this is a great way. So without running long in a video, you know, and get into some super long drawn out explanation, the real fast way to do it, what I would do, I'll just grab a blank group here. And of course, I'm doing it from the software. This can be done from the hardware controller. Okay, let's say we call this, I'm gonna call this uh, drum verb. Let's call it drum verb. I think what I wanna do is I wanna make an effect, maybe to affect my drums and add a little reverb to them at the same time. You know, maybe have them thump a little bit more. So let's say, for example, we'll go here to our first sound. We'll call this, uh, Instead of output, we're now going to change it to input. So let's call it drum, call it VB for verb, input. That'll work. Drum, verb, input. And let's say, for example, we'll go to our external uh, plugins. And for my drums, let's say if I wanted to put in, let's say, a Maserati drum. That's one of my pretty much go to effects when I am doing drums. Let's go ahead and, uh, and yes, I am adding a little treble to my drum <laughs> in case you're wondering why I'm doing that. And let's go with a little stock reverb. You know, Native Instruments has that new plate verb. So let's, let's add that plate verb on there and drop the mix down a little bit. All right. So there we go. That's our little effect chain. And of course you can come here and you can, you can right click and you can save that. 
you know, and come back, you know, and use it for later use. It also shows up inside of uh, your machine. So let's take a look here. Let's zoom in on this a little bit more. And let's take a listen to these kicks. Now I didn't want it to be clipping. So what basically what I did was, yeah, and I did add a little vinyl dust on there. Um, on my group, I did add a limiter here. As you see, I, I amped up the drums a little bit and I put a ceiling on it just to keep it from clipping. And I'm not sure if you know this. Also, you can also, you can copy your plugin effects like that. And let's say if I wanted my drum verb bus here and over here on the group tab, I wanted to paste another ceiling there just to control that a lot better. Let's see, we put it like this here. I want to put a ceiling on my effect. So I'll put that like that. And also on the master channel, I have another limiter here because again, you know, I want to control those transient peaks. Okay. So now again on sound, we got the drum and we have the verb. You also can mute your effects by just uh, clicking a little effects icon there that will turn those effects on or off. So let's go to, let's say the kick drum here. All right. And you have a sample icon here. If you need to do any editing, this turns it on and that turns it off. So it's on, you had to edit. Right there is where you can do your edit. You know, you have tools down here. You know, if you want to highlight a section and fade it off or highlight a section here, fade it in, reverse, normalize, truncate, whatever, you know, copy, paste. If you've seen some of my previous tutorials, you know how that works. And of course you can view your waveform like that. Okay, so let's go over here to our channel icon or rather our channel properties and on the sound level let's go ahead and go to the output we're now routing the audio we want to get the audio from our kick route it here to our little drum bus here and add the effect so you can send it to a queue if you wanted to do that you know native instruments has it now so you can send audio to a queue where whoever's listening doesn't have to hear um whatever it is that you're doing to a sound so Destination, let's say if I want to go to my drum verb, we'll go to the input, like so. Now, the rest of these sounds will not be affected. The only sound that will be affected will be this kick right here on sound nine, and we have it set up right here. So I'll jump over here back to my, um, my little effect chain here. And more than likely, let's go ahead and start with the uh, the plug in here to see what exactly is going on with the drum sound. And of course, I'm over exaggerating this just so you can get an idea of the effect. You can hear how that drum is being affected because if I turn off the effects here, and turn off the effects here. You notice how we're just getting the regular setup, which we had. So if I turn this back on without the plate reverb, You know, so if I want to add an EQ first, or you know, if I want to do get into other areas as far as side chaining, if I want to make a side chain bus, I can do that. I can turn the plate reverb back on. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And let's say if I turn this down just a little bit, maybe we'll put it at like one percent, which should bring it down. really low and we'll just slowly and gradually all right so that's pretty much how that works let's go back and let's add something else on to it just for fun just for kicks now i'm going to add this snare on which I really shouldn't do because it has, you know, it's using that um that Maserati plugin here, which is specifically set up for drums. 
So I'll go back and let's say we'll change this from a bass drum to let's say a snare top. Of course, this is a preset. And let me go back over here. We will take this one off and just send it back to the group. So then that way it doesn't have to be affected by our bus. So let's go ahead and uh, do the snare here. Again, to our drum verb. And let's take a listen to that. Well, actually, now this would be more like a snare verb. <laughs> So let's uh, take a look at that. And there you go. Now we're getting a different effect with the snare. So of course it's good to come in here. A lot of times you can experiment with things like, let's say if I was leaving on the bass drum, the way I had it before, you know, sometimes, you know, you don't have to be scared to experiment with things. Um, you never know. You might find out something that could shock the world. So um, tell you what, I'm gonna go back here to our kick and I'm just gonna go ahead and add our kick back on there and take a listen to that with the snare. You know, you can come over here to your um your auxes and you you know you can set up your auxes and do the same effect. Yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Just figured I'd just share that with you guys. And also while I got the cam going, I just wanted to help out a VIP member who had a question they couldn't get their um their supercharger plugin to come out. Because Native Instruments just gave us the supercharger plugin for free if you got it um before I forget the date, I think it was like December 31st, something like that. And then you get the serial number, you activate it. So, um, as you can see right here, I'm in 32 bit mode right now, I believe, which is why a lot of my uh 64 bit plugins aren't showing up here. So, sometimes you might have to go to 32 bit mode, you know, to find certain plugins or 64 bit mode to find certain plugins. Um, as you can see right here, I'm at 32 bit mode, and the supercharger comes up like this. So you know, if you were, for example, setting up some type of side chain bus and, you know, you also have a user bank here with the supercharger. You know, if you if you're setting up, you know, a parallel compression bus, you know, you might want to take advantage of this. Or if you're doing a side chain bus, it does have a side chain switch right here. All right. So that's pretty much it. Your boy Fontaine, VIP Soundlab .com. We have a VIP membership. It's nine ninety nine with no monthly fees. We also have free drum kit giveaways. We have free session templates and a lot of free goodies on the website. So you definitely want to come by to www.vipsoundlab.com and see what we got going on over there. As always, our machine tutorials are always free. We're covering the machine 2.0 software as well as the hardware. Um, we're going to pretty much put out as many videos as we can on this as well as the updates as we continue on. So that's pretty much it. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.